Hi everyone, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to the Thai Life. I am going to show you how to do a back fill using soft gel or you call it fiber gel. And we're gonna be sharing some experience about this procedure, manicure, leading up to soft gel. What's the feedback on the clients and why nail techs needs to know how to utilize this service to make more money. My name is Min and I've been doing nails for 20 plus years and all I wanna do is share with you my experience, my knowledge, so that you as a nail tech, beginner, veteran, if you want to work from home, do your own nails, whatever you want to call it, you can learn from my channel. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much and welcome back. So this client right here, you know, she's already had the soft gel on her nails. So all I have to do is fill it in. But you know anything you do in the nail, you've got to have the preparation. So what I had to do is I had to sand down the old soft gel, okay? So when you are sanding down the old soft gel, do you sand it all the way until the soft gel is gone and just create a brand new layers of soft gel? You can if you want to, or you can find a way to file to make the surface nice and smooth. Whatever you do, it doesn't matter because if the gel is on good, there's no type of lift. Why would you want to shave it all down? You just got to fill in the gap. But the problem with the gel is that when you apply, it tends to have a little dent. If there's a dent, the gel is going to fall into the dent. It's going to create this little hump. It's a mess, y'all. So we're going to prevent all of that by just creating a smooth surface. As you all know, after I create a smooth surface, I go in with the shape. The shape is very important because the nail, when you look at the nail, you know that shape is going to be on point. It doesn't matter what color you get, what design you get. If that shape is out of control, everything's out of control, yo. So I always focus on the shape because once I get the shape down on the nails, I have like a good guideline to know where I am going with this shape, the design, the polish and all that. So I always get the shape out of the way. But is this going to be my only time that I'm going to shape? No. I am going to shape a little bit more once I finish the design all that because you know once you add the polish and the design, high chance it's going to get thicker, it will change the shape a little bit, it won't look nice and straight as crisp as you have it in the beginning. So you got to keep an eye on that y'all, okay? I see a lot of nail tech, they be just doing all kind of bubbly shape on the natural nails and we cannot do that y'all. We can shape, but you have to also be a nail tech that explain to the clients like, look, lady, your shape can only work accordingly to the length, okay? If you have some short ass nail and you expect that thing to be narrow, I don't even know how to get there. But if your nails are long, you can make it more narrow. You just gotta understand the way shaping works when you do it, right? So after I shape, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cuticle softener in. You know the cuticle softener is what it does is it softens the cuticles. There's a lot of clients out there really need that cuticle softener because that cuticle softener is going to help their dry ass cuticle to be soft. Yo, there's a lot of clients out there with some dinosaur cuticles, some elephant cuticle skin and all that. I'm talking about they so hard, they be peeling off and even if you get your skin and you're trying to touch their cuticles, it going to cut you in pieces too. So you know you gotta take care of them cuticles, okay? But there are some clients who don't really have that much cuticle then you don't have to, but I'm just gonna let you decide as a nail tech which route you wanna take, okay? You see some gangster cuticle out there, you just gotta eliminate it. And you see some Barbie doll cuticle, you can leave it. That's how I look at it, you know? So once I do the pushing of the cuticles, y'all, when you guys are pushing back the cuticle, please don't go mayhem and push the cuticle really hard and dig under the nails, y'all, okay? I know y'all see some rushing manicure, but that's a different way. These pushes can go back so far. You push too far, it's gonna dig under skin, it's gonna make them bleed, and you don't want no blood when you do a manicure, y'all. A manicure is to avoid any type of pain. That's why a lot of clients, they don't get acrylic. They only want manicure because something's more simple. They see the drill going on, they get all nervous and everything. So y'all keep it nice and simple for them, you know? So here we go. So when it comes to cutting the cuticles, you gotta look at how you hold the nippers, y'all. I see so many people holding the nipple and when they turn a certain direction, they gotta move the whole station. 
They got to move the whole body. Man, it looks terrifying. So what I want y'all to think about is look how I am holding her hand. Look how I am holding the nippers, y'all. I will make the nippers, her hand kind of maneuver around. I'm sitting in one place, okay? The last thing I want to see y'all do is walk around your nail station just to cut some cuticles, y'all. We don't need to go there because I've seen it done. And I tell you what, when you are cutting cuticles, it is important that you really determine what is the cuticles and what is not the cuticles, y'all, okay? If y'all start seeing some blood coming out on them fingers, stop, pause, and stop cutting, okay? Because that means you're getting into the skin. But if y'all see some dead skin coming off and that feels satisfying, then you're cutting the cuticles. Because if you know how to cut cuticles, I can guarantee you one thing, my friend. It is very satisfying when you cut them cuticles out. But when you start seeing blood, trust me, y'all heart start beating faster, the client panic, and on top of that, she got no clue what is going on, why is her fingers bleeding. So really take the time to really enjoy this moment, y'all. You know, a manicure is something that is relaxing. It is something that you want to make sure that client feels soothing. It's almost like getting a facial, but you getting it on the hand, okay? Please do not go out there and start putting a service saying, I do facial finger manicures. There's no such thing, y'all. I just, that was just an example, you know what I mean? So now, check this out. I kind of zoom in. So when I cut cuticles, y'all, let me tell, see, because this is important. I need y'all to understand when it comes to cutting cuticles, this is important. When it comes to cuticles, y'all, not every client is going to have a lot of cuticles, okay? Just because the last 10 clients you did has some major, major, major cuticles. And then you all of a sudden you think if this client have a lot of cuticles, you're going to go up downtown on them, and next thing you know, they got next thing but bones and skins, y'all. Please do not do that, okay? And here's the thing. When it comes to the manicure, different race have different beliefs in terms of cutting cuticles. Some race don't want you to cut the cuticles. Like Asian people, when they get a manicure, they want that cuticle to be cleaned up. I mean, they want that thing to be cut around the finger. Like anytime you see a callus, any hard spot, they want to cut that spot off. They don't give a damn if it's close to the bone. As long as it comes off, they got that soft skin, they take it. But then you got the other race where they just don't want nothing cut. So y'all got to pay attention to that, okay? So here's the thing. After I am done, with the cuticle cutting. Now, I am gonna go ahead and start prepping to put the soft gel on, okay? Her cuticles are clean, fresh. I'm gonna go in with a paper band and I'm gonna go ahead and try. I'm filling in the gap. So if you ever do a preparation on a fill, yeah, you do the same thing. Now you gotta try and dehydrate the natural nail. The natural nail is constantly producing oil is because the client's not dead. As long as you're alive, Anything on your body is going to continue to produce, especially your nails are going to grow. Every single nail has oil on it. So you got to eliminate the oil by falling down the natural nail and put the dehydrator in and then the primer when you're doing the soft gel. Okay? So I just want to keep y'all a heads up like that. That's how people produce oil. I get clients, they be asking me questions, y'all. <clears throat> they be, clients be asking me questions like, Oh, I don't really know why I have oily hand. Well, bitch, what do you think? You're not dead. Your hand, your body's gonna naturally produce oil. What kind of question is that? And they laugh and giggle and all that, but you just have to explain to them, okay? So another thing when you guys are doing the paper band, y'all, don't be rough on the client. When you guys are using the files, y'all, please be gentle. I know there's a lot of nail tech out there be looking outside the window while y'all doing this because y'all want to see who is waiting in line. Please do not do that. You are scaring the client. And on top of that, please don't go mayhem and speed up on this process and go deep on the skin because next thing you know, that client's getting burned and that's why the clients pull their finger away. And when they pull the finger away, you pull the finger back. Next thing you know, y'all playing tag of war with each other's finger. That is ridiculous, y'all. Be gentle when it comes to following people's hand, y'all. I am scared myself when I foul. I can't imagine hurting any type of clients when I'm doing that, y'all. 
So that's what I want to say about the hand following when you guys are following the client's hand. A lot of times clients get really scared when it comes to the following, y'all. Especially when y'all ask, keep looking at the window, worrying about the next client and the next client. So here I am done with the following. So what I said earlier, I got to dehydrate the nail. So you know, young nails, they have this product. They have this product called dehydration. And all I do is I just wipe it on the client's uh, finger, y'all, and it just dehydrate all the oil. And it works, y'all. If y'all have any type of lifting on your nail before the primer, go in with the dehydrator. I guarantee you it's going to help you out with the lifting when you guys are doing any type of application, even when you guys are applying gel. I've been using it for years and it works. And after that, y'all, I am going to go in with the protein bond. You know the protein bond is just an AKA primer. That's just a bougie name, Protein Bomb, but when I bust this bottle out, y'all, everything looks hella fancy, but on top of the fanciness, it really works, y'all. This primer right here is my favorite top knot. I go in with two coats, and I tell you what, it does not lift the nails. Nails can last up to seven weeks. That's the secret, y'all. Dehydrator and good primer, you can't go wrong. That's the final way to really establish a good adhesive when it comes to these stuff. Now, when it comes to applying the soft gel, this soft gel right here is also by Young Nail. It has keratin on it. So when you want to sell this soft gel, you got to be like talking up like, look, man, this stuff, they got keratin. It's going to enhance the growth of your nail. And it does. But the client does not know this kind of stuff because all they know is that there's mannequin. They put gel polish on. But if you're able to introduce this soft gel to the clients, y'all, that is a $10 plus to the manicure that you're charging them, y'all. And this is like the next thing to like acrylic. If you have clients who are allergic to acrylic, allergic to the monomer, the soft gel is the way to go. I have a lot of clients doing soft gel. They go back once a month and they love it. They see their nails growing and it's less maintenance than acrylic. And this is why I recommend this product to a lot of clients that does not rock the acrylic, y'all. I don't want y'all to go hungry. I want y'all to know that, hey, there's other route for clients out there. As a nail technician, we cannot exclude the procedure just because we don't know. We have to seek solution for clients out there. Because if you are as a nail tech who are always seeking for solution for your clients, high chance you're gonna have a lot of clients waiting for you. Because clients, when they come to you, they come with a problem. They don't come with a solution. You are their solution. That's why you are the nail tech, okay? That's why you are the baddest bitch in town when they come and get their nails done. You feel me? So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all about this, okay? I know I'm trying to hype y'all up, but that's what I do. That's what I do, y'all. I hype shit up when I talk to y'all about this kind of stuff. So this nail right here, when you are applying on, you cannot just go ahead and slice it down, y'all. You got to put your hand in and you got to wiggle it back and forth, okay? You got to wiggle it back and forth. The reason why you got to wiggle it is because you're going to spread that gel evenly. Let me show you one more time. So as I am putting the gel onto the nail, but at the same time, let, 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 me, let me pause real quick. What I did before I cured her hand was that the gel, it tend to shift, y'all. It tend to shift. So what happens that before I put it under the light, I gotta make sure it's even. Because sometimes when the clients, they lay their hand like a certain way, what it does is that it shifts the gel to the left too much or to the right. And because of that, it's gonna create a weird, like, platform. And you don't want none of that, y'all. So. Sometimes when it comes to the soft gel application, that is the most, a little bit tedious part to me that kind of sucks, you know, because sometimes I, I can't just like polish and put it under the light. I kind of have to like make sure it's nice and balanced. So let's look at this. When you are applying soft gel, see, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of drag it. I'm going to go ahead and move it down and I'm going to go left and right, left and right. The reason why I do that is because when that gel go left and right, it's going to spread perfectly around the circumference of the nails. That's what you want. Let's look at this again. See, as I'm rolling the gel down, I go up and down sideways, and I'm going to go ahead and work on the side. I'm going to bring it down. 
when I am pulling out the gel product, I'm gonna take in a light touch. I'm not gonna put in a heavy touch. You wanna to take a big lock. This gel is very thick. It's easy to pick up a big lock, but when you put on the nail, it looks good, but just be very careful because when you put too much, it's gonna melt on the side. Again, once that go under the light, it takes a long time to clean it up and you do not want none of that. That's the hardest part about doing this soft gel, y'all. Same thing. Anything I do on the soft gel, I want to make sure it's a slow motion kind of thing. I don't want nothing to really be uh, complicated when I am curing. That's the goal. That's the goal. And because I have already filed this client's nail down very nice and smooth, leaving some of the old soft gel that she had in the previous service, I'm only going to go in with one coat. A lot of times you can go in with two coat as your maximum coat, but you don't have to if this client has some really good natural nails already, okay? She already has strength on these nails, so there's no need to go in so many coats of gel. So I'm just going to go in with one coat. So as I'm finishing up this coat, okay, am I done? No, I am not. Because now, you see how those other fingers are kind of laid down? Imagine all the gel that I put on there, right? As I am painting on this thumb, all the other fingers is dripping down. So I have to make sure I go back and check those other fingers before I put it in the light. So this is where the gel gets a little bit complicated because you, you know, when, as you're brushing it down, you kind of have to have this light touch of your hand. You cannot be rough. You cannot just like slice it down and make this creak. Because like, damn, it's a thick product. Anything you gel, it stays. And anything you cure, it stays like that, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check it again. So, this is, but this whole service right here. This whole service takes me a good hour and 15 minutes with the design that we are about to show you. Okay, with the design. And what's nice is that as this class nail start growing out, she's able to do more design because she has more nails that you can work with, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go in with the design. And what I love about having her natural nail growing out is that I'm able to give her more design. But the best part that I'm able to prove to my client is that we are able to do more design on your nails, on your natural nails. That's the best part about it, you know what I mean? So. That's what I love about, you know, this soft gel because the client, she trusts me. She trusts me and we're able to execute it perfectly, you know what I mean? And, and that's the hard part. A lot of clients, you know, they wear these gel stuff, you put it on, they see it, they like it, they don't come back because they feel like, oh, it's, it's just any ordinary. It's not. You know, if you as a client and you really believe in what the nail tech is educating you, you've got to trust the nail tech. They only there to keep, like, they care for you. You know what I mean? They care for you. So here we go. I'm going to do this French. Let me show you how to do this crazy ass French. So, you know, first, I'm just going to go ahead and color in where I'm going to color in on the tips, right? And you know, each French, you can make the line more sharp and everything. So what I'm going to do is once I got the first pattern down, I'm just going to go in and create my sharpness of the line. You know what I mean? And if I want that line to be more sharp, it's just gonna be, I'm just gonna drag the line up higher. And that's how I make my friends, y'all. And I tell you what, if you do it this way, you will save yourself so much time. I have done so many different ways of friendships and I have seen people do it so many different ways. And I tell you what, it's, it's nothing as fast as the one that I'm showing you just right there. So after that, we're gonna go into this green. You know why she's going green, y'all. It is March, St. Patrick's is around the corner. And you know what? Doing this set right here makes me so proud knowing that it's on her natural nail. You don't understand as a nail tech, this is like an amazing, amazing feeling, y'all. And so far, if you're still listening, give me a thumbs up, share this video, and let me know how you like this video, y'all. This is what I love to do and I can't wait, man. Like I want to know if y'all comfortable doing the soft gel and anything that I am showing you, the posh I'm using, y'all, everything's in the link in my description so you guys can really locate the item, get yourself that item and really use it on your clients, y'all. And this set right here, I charge the client around $75 for this nail set, y'all. This nail set right here 
is included with a manicure which I charge around 55 including the soft gel but with the design we got the French we got the uh, green and we got the sweater design come on y'all not bad for an hour and 15 minutes and that's how you are going to earn it y'all that is how you're gonna earn it okay easy stuff not hard I believe that if you don't have clients that do acrylic offer this to them y'all I guarantee you you're gonna start making the same amount as a full set but you're gonna like it because now you got extra extra service to offer to your clients when a nail tech have more service to offer to their clients you can never go hungry you can never okay talk about it hype it up do what I do that's what I do we're gonna hype things up and we're gonna make it together y'all you know inflation is hard people are getting uh, what do you call it trying to save more because things are getting expensive a lot of service is low being less we need to offer more service okay when people are not spending money on certain type of service we have to offer more service if we just stay the same we're never gonna grow always seek out for new service always seek out for new venture as a nail tech okay if people are not spending money on full set offer pedicure if people are not spending on pedicure offer manicure if people are not spending on manicure offer nail clipping you feel me don't ever give up y'all this nail industry is hard but if you don't give up you're always gonna make it because that's how the life works y'all that's the rule of thumb you know what I mean don't ever give up have fun in what you do you know what I mean the clients really appreciate what you do to them for real you know and anything that I show you my friend if I can do it you can do it but it will take time for you to get there nothing is easy okay nail is not an overnight success nail is a lifetime investment nail is a year of practice nail is a year of patience nail is a year of being humble so that you don't think that other people will put you down you got to stay up you got to make sure that you're always going to put yourself in a good position by offering more service remember that y'all everything I do I try to grow it is hard to change it's very hard to change because sometimes you're afraid that it might not work but hey if you never give yourself a chance to try it how do you know it's gonna work right so here we are finishing up with the sweater y'all and you all know how the sweater works you draw the lines on there and you uh, put the powder on it and you wipe it off at the end look at that man this you know you go in with a little hand rub can't go wrong extra tips but at the end y'all this is how you do a manicure soft gel backfill look at her nails thank you for watching I appreciate y'all if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel get notification and I will see you on my next video thank you so